Hess's law. I will teach you the complete concept of Hess's law and fast method to calculate numerical problems of Hess's law in less than a minute. Firstly, let me teach you one daily life example. Let consider this ice cube. It absorbs del H is equal to 300 kilojoule energy from the surrounding. As a result, it sublimes to gaseous state. This is direct path or one step process. Now consider that this ice absorb del H1 is equal to 44 kilojoule energy and melt down to liquid or water. Lastly, this liquid absorb del H2 is equal to 256 kilojoule energy and evaporate to gaseous state. Now listen carefully. Ice needs del H is equal to 300 kilojoule energy to convert to gas directly. Secondly, if we add del H1 plus del H2, it will be equal to del H. We know that del H is equal to 300 kilojoule, while del H1 is equal to 44 kilojoule and del H2 is equal to 256 kilojoule. I get 300 kilojoule is equal to 300 kilojoule. This left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, we say that enthalpy change is the same whether it takes place in one step or multiple steps. Let me repeat it. Enthalpy change is the same whether it takes in one step or multiple steps. This concept is called Hess's law, which we will learn in the next slide. Hence, note it down this practical example of Hess's law. Now, what is Hess's law? Well, consider this reactant A. Let it absorb del H is equal to 24 kilojoule energy and convert to product D. Let this whole reaction occur in one step. Now, let's consider that this reaction takes place in multiple steps to form product D. Let this A reactant absorb del H1 is equal to 12 kilojoule and convert to B. This B absorb del H2 is equal to 8 kilojoule and convert to C. And this C absorb del H3 is equal to 4 kilojoule and convert to D. Here, Hess Baba states that del H is equal to del H1 plus del H2 plus del H3. He means that in the first step, del H is equal to 24 kilojoule. Del H1 is equal to 12 kilojoule, del H2 is equal to 8 kilojoule and del H3 is equal to 4 kilojoule. After calculation, I get 24 kilojoule is equal to 24 kilojoule. Thus left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, Hess Baba states that enthalpy change during a chemical reaction is the same whether it takes place in one or more than one steps. Let me repeat it. Enthalpy change during a chemical reaction is the same whether it takes place in one or more than one steps. This is the first statement or statement number one of Hess law. Now we will learn the second statement of the Hess's law. We know that del H is equal to del H1 plus del H2 plus del H3. Here, I shift all these terms from the right hand side to the left hand side. I write del H minus del H1 minus del H2 minus del H3. We know that del H is equal to 24 kilojoule, while del H1, del H2 and del H3 are also equal to 24 kilojoule. 24 kilojoule minus 24 kilojoule is equal to 0 kilojoule. It means that total energy in this cycle is zero or conserved. Let me repeat it. It means that total energy in this cycle is zero or conserved. Therefore, Hess Baba states that enthalpy change in a cyclic process is always zero or conserved. Mathematically, we write 
summation of all enthalpy change and a cyclic process is zero. Hence, this is the second statement of Hesse's law. Thus, remember this basic concept of Hesse's law. Now, we will learn important example of Hesse's law. Let's consider the formation of carbon dioxide gas in one step. Carbon in a solid state plus oxygen gas react together to form carbon dioxide gas. Remember that the physical state of each ingredient is very important in this type of reactions. The enthalpy change for this reaction is del H is equal to 393.5 kJ per mole. Here, this minus sign means that the reaction is exothermic because heat is given off. Now we will learn the formation of carbon dioxide gas in two steps. In the first step, carbon plus half of oxygen gas react together to form carbon monoxide gas. The enthalpy change del H1 is equal to minus 110.52 kJ per mole. In the second step, carbon monoxide gas plus half of oxygen gas react together to form carbon dioxide gas. The enthalpy change for this reaction del H2 is equal to minus 393 kJ per mole. Now I will add these two reactions. We can see that this carbon monoxide and this carbon monoxide cancel out. I write this carbon, half of this oxygen gas and this oxygen gas becomes oxygen gas. I write this carbon dioxide gas here. According to Hess's law, del H is equal to del H1 plus del H2. We know that del H1 is equal to minus 110.52 kJ per mole, while del H2 is equal to 283 kJ per mole. After calculation, I get del H is equal to minus 393.52 kJ per mole. Thus, in one step, del H is equal to minus 393.52 kJ per mole, while in these two steps, the del H is again are still minus 393.52 kJ per mole. Therefore, his Baba states that enthalpy change in a chemical reaction is the same whether it occurs in one step or multiple steps. Hence, note it down this important example. Here, let me teach you one of my favorite questions. Why we need to study Hess's law? Well, we know that we use calorimeter to measure enthalpy change of a chemical reaction. But there are many reactions like formation of CCl4 whose enthalpy change cannot be measured by using calorimeter. In such cases, we use Hess's law to determine their enthalpy change. For this reason, we need to study Hess's law. Hence, note down this important question. Now we will learn numerical problems of Hess's law. I will teach you the super fast method to solve any numerical problem of Hess's law in less than a minute. Consider this NCRT numerical problem. Calculate the standard enthalpy of formation of methanol from the following data. Well, standard enthalpy of formation means when one mole of a compound is formed from its stable elements. For example, stable element of carbon is solid carbon, stable element of hydrogen is H2 or hydrogen gas, stable element of oxygen is O2 or oxygen gas. Here, methanol is formed from stable elements. It means that methanol is made from carbon plus H2 plus O2. Now, I balance the equation. There are four hydrogen atoms. I write here two. There is only one oxygen atom. I write here one by two. Here, I write the required reaction. Now, listen carefully. 
in the required reaction methanol CH3OH is present at the right hand side while in the first reaction methanol CH3OH is present at the left hand side. Now to bring this methanol to the right hand side as per required reaction I reverse this reaction. Remember that when I reverse any reaction I change the sign of enthalpy. Let me repeat this important point. When I reverse any reaction I change the sign of enthalpy. So I write here the right hand side of this reaction carbon dioxide plus 2H2O and then I write the left hand side of this reaction methanol CH3OH plus 3 by 2 oxygen gas. The sign of enthalpy changes from minus to positive. I get del H1 is equal to plus 726 kilojoule. Secondly, in the required reaction, there is one carbon present at the left hand side. While in the second reaction, the carbon is also present at the left hand side or at the same side. So I write this reaction as it is carbon plus O2 and then I write carbon dioxide. The enthalpy change is del H is equal to minus 393 kilojoule. Thirdly, in the required reaction, at the left hand side, there are two molecules of hydrogen gas. While in the third reaction, there is one molecule of hydrogen gas at the left hand side. We can see that in the required reaction, there are two hydrogen gas molecules. While in the third reaction, there is only one hydrogen gas molecule. So I multiply this reaction by 2. Also remember that I multiply its enthalpy change by 2. I get 2 hydrogen gas molecule plus 2 and 2 half oxygen gas and 2 H2O. Now I multiply this enthalpy change by 2. 2 and 2 minus 286 kilojoule is equal to minus 572 kilojoule. Now I will add these three reactions. I cancel all the spectator molecules. This carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide cancel out. These two water molecules and these two water molecules also can cancel out. This 3 by 2 means 1 full oxygen gas plus 1 half oxygen gas. I cancel this full oxygen gas and half of this oxygen gas. I also cancel this 3 by 2 oxygen gas. I get carbon plus 2H2 plus 1 by 2 oxygen gas and this methanol CH3OH. Thus using this fast method, we can easily get the required reaction. Now according to Hess Baba, del H is equal to del H1 plus del H2 plus del H3. I write del H is equal to del H1 is plus 726 minus del H2 is minus 393 and del H3 is minus 572. After calculation, I get minus 239 kilojoule. Therefore, minus 239 kilojoule energy is the enthalpy change for the standard formation of methanol. Hence, note it down this fast method of calculation of enthalpy change. Finally, consider this difficult numerical problem. Calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction from the following data. Well, I use the fast method. I write this is the required reaction. Now, in the required reaction, Fe2O3 is present at the left hand side. While in the first reaction, Fe2O3 is also present at the left hand side or at the required side. There is one unit of Fe2O3 in the required reaction. Also, there is one unit in the first reaction. So I write the first reaction as it is Fe2O3 plus 3 carbon monoxide, and then I write 
टू एफ ई प्लस थ्री कार्बन डाई ऑक्साइड गैस द इंथलपी चेंज डेल एच वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स किलो जूल सेकेंडली इन द रिक्वायर्ड रिएक्शन टू एफ ई ओ इज प्रेजेंट एट द राइट हैंड साइड वाइल इन द सेकेंड रिएक्शन वन एफ ई ओ इज प्रेजेंट एट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड To balance the two FeO unit and required reaction, I multiply this reaction by two. Also, I reverse the second reaction because the required units are present at the opposite sides. I write two Fe plus two car and two FeO plus two carbon monoxide. I change the sign of enthalpy. Del H two is equal to. Also, I multiply it by two. 2n to plus 16 kilojoule. Now listen carefully. If I add this reaction, I get something else. I mean, 3 carbon monoxide plus 2 carbon monoxide is equal to 5 carbon monoxide. While in the required reaction, there is only 1 carbon monoxide. Now I will try another method. If I subtract three carbon monoxide minus two carbon monoxide, I get one carbon monoxide, which is the correct number of carbon monoxide according to the required reaction. I subtract reaction two from the reaction one. These two Fe and these two Fe cancel out. I get Fe two O three plus 3 carbon monoxide minus 2 carbon monoxide is equal to 1 carbon monoxide i write these two feo these 3 carbon dioxide minus these two carbon monoxide is equal to 1 carbon dioxide thus i got the required reaction now according to his baba del h is equal to del h1 plus del h2 our del h is equal to minus 26 kJ Plus thirty-two kilojoule. After calculation, I get del H is equal to plus six kilojoule. Hence, the enthalpy change for this reaction is del H is equal to plus six kilojoule. So, using this fast method, we can easily crack any numerical problem of Hess's law. I hope that you have learned all about Hess's law.